Yeah, he's sweet. But he came to my gate and prayed and sent me out. Well, he got to open the gate. He was happy, Father Andy.
Thank you. 
do you then remember me when I call you and when you have forgotten me? I was on a mission from the king of Memphis and had gone into his tent. There, a single mother stork lay below, just, just there and gone. I managed to bring it back home. But I still can't wrap my mind around the circumstances of his death. The dome of the institute. It was gone. Gone? It can't be. The institute was perfectly whole. I never said it was destroyed. Just that there was nothing on earth that they had. The gates are no longer in power, but there were no gates, no dome, no people, no body. If that's the case, then how did you manage to return to Gaza? It was strange. I was sitting in my VP auditorium and an executive at Memphis said, I called you in. I want to talk to you. How did you manage to get back to Gaza so easy? I came to a totally different country. I sat by the tomb, not even leaning a body against its weight. While there, I lost track of time. I was a college student. We had traveled so many far-away robot worlds. After some time, I saw a light breaking through the snow crust. My room was well known, but I gathered my stuff and I ran toward them through the snow. The tomb is on the run. We were in a big rush. Luck was on my side. It was a caravan of dome travelers. I rode most of the way back to the institution, but I couldn't risk entering a coffin with its owner. I want to know exactly what state you are held in. The moment you entered our state, you were repatriated. That place is much bigger than the news of my state. I must protect the message. I must leave it behind under the rock that I am of a trustworthy sort. Who could have driven this far to mess with your word to Nana? I am sure it won't come to that. I was afraid so as soon as I touched the snow.
right, Pam. Anything new around Capia? Sorry, can't talk right now. Really have to put fences up before the caravan gets here. Robots believe that Onyx is keeping their mother in hostage. Today's broadcast is... Eastern diplomats failed to show up. It was the first time both sides agreed on a meeting after 25 years of complete isolation, and the East failed to show. The historical meeting between the West and the East was to start by reopening the last remaining neutral zone the passage between the gates. After all the anticipation, the eastern gates remained locked. It used to be some dandy's hot rod. Now it's just a pile of junk. dog ran out of mailmen to chase, so now he's after the gardeners. Pam's remote is seriously damaged. I could try to fix it. back, huh? Now nah, get lost, would ya? A bit grumpy in the morning. Not my job to entertain you outside of my bar. Suit yourself. What are you doing? Fixing the elevator. I will be the only one who will be able to use it after I'm done. <laughs> Sounds more like you're breaking the elevator. Truth has many sides. One side for everyone who speaks it. Bye. i 
return it later. No harm done. Hope that the mechanism still works. This won't help. I need to try something else. I don't think so. Pam's remote is seriously damaged. I could try to fix it. Let's see if I can find a spare some. Keep appearing all around, Capia. Here's your remote. Good as new. Can't believe you managed to retrieve it from that beast. You really are the best. What's happening here? Don't you know? The caravan is coming. Wait, didn't you come with the caravan? I came beforehand. Ah, that's pretty dangerous, you know. Can you lift those f fences? I need to go through the square? No can do. Just put it up. Governor's regulations. How are things going around Capia? Same, same. Shipmen are still disturbing everybody. The governor is still promising to put an end to it. It will end one day. People won't tolerate all this much longer. Ha. Huh. Like they've been tolerant since we were cooped up under this glass cover. This international crowd can't agree on anything. Every single group is so focused on their own agenda that any other view is dismissed. For the time being, the shipmen have the guns, so they're in power. For now. Well, now is all we have. Who knows what will happen tomorrow. Don't be so pessimistic. This war will end. It must someday. Yeah, yeah, I know. Someday. Looks like you don't like our governor. Why would I like him? He talks, but he never does anything. He's a good man in a bad situation. Oh, have I heard that one before? Words and more words. What Capia needs is solutions. You know, people would be behind you if you ever step up and lead us. Us? We are the members of the Drake. Haven't you seen the graffiti?
Yes, it is on every wall. Yeah, Drake members love writing even more than fighting. I'm still not clear on what Drake supporters stand for. They say that Drake was the first fighter for freedom and equality of all people. The East and West alike. The Drake follow his commandments. So is this your cause? Freedom and equality? Well, that and more. Here, take this flyer. It covers our agenda. And now Drake is leading an organization under his own name? Drake disappeared when the war started. I can't blame him. He was by the gates when the West was ready to sign the peace treaty, but instead, a war was declared. And now Drake is leading an organization under his own name? Drake disappeared when the war started. I can't blame him. He was by the gates when the West was ready to sign the peace treaty, but instead, a war was declared. Yes. Yeah. I'm still not clear on what Drake supporters stand for. They say that Drake was the first fighter for freedom and equality of all people. The East and West alike. The Drake follow his commandments. And now Drake is leading an organization under his own name? Drake disappeared when the war started. I can't blame him. He was by the gates when the West was ready to sign the peace treaty, but instead, a war was declared. And now Drake is leading an organization under his own name? Drake disappeared when the war started. I can't blame him. He was by the gates when the West was ready to sign the peace treaty, but instead, a war was declared. I thought I was helping. Not in my rules to remind, but it was I who organized a system of caravans that allowed for trade between the domes. Yeah, you did do a lot. Before the caravans came to our dome, we were completely offline. Now, we get the information from other survivors and what do we hear? Everywhere in the West is the same mess. The only remaining place with democracy is under the dome of the Western Institute of Science. Other domes are under some dictatorial rule. So you are here to bring the light? Exactly. The revolution will bring us back on the right track. You do remember that we're in a state of war. The revolution may be beneficial for the attackers. Attackers this, attackers that. The war has become a justification for everything. No one has even seen the attackers. But we are frightened enough to live lives of the preserves, not humans. But the bombs. Mm, our own bombs at that. It was our men that built the moon base and equipped it with all this arsenal that is now flying at us. Are you saying that the war is a fake? No, not really. All I want is to get some evidence. People deserve to know what's going on, but instead, the government hides everything. This is why I must revolt against them, no matter what. What has happened to our world to get it to this state? Your mother would be proud. You sound a lot like her. <laughs> this, my friend, I hear often. The governor gets along with the shipmen. Being a military man himself, he knows how to speak their language. Yeah, he does talk, talk, talk. Didn't you come with the caravan? I came beforehand. Ah, that's pretty dangerous, you know.
This elevator leads to a glass balcony. Is somebody watching me? My nerves must be breaking down. How's work going? Oh, that same work. It just goes on day after day. But what can you do? I see that Krebs grass harvest was good this year. This must make Slug happy. Let's hope he reduces the price on his brew. I wouldn't count on it. Slug is as greedy as a devil himself. He would rather shut his place down than lower prices and make good people happy. But what can you do? Ha! Uh, <laughs> that's for sure. He even assembled his distiller so he didn't have to spend money on the bar. We were once neighbors back in the day. I half expected him to burn the basement down along with that machine he was fixing. I wanted to complain to the authorities, but the war had started. You started early. The sun's just risen and you're already as busy as a bee. Yep, I get up early. Old fisherman habit. If I could have it my way, I'd be sitting right now in the riverbank. But what can you do? Looks like you have plenty of work this season. Always enough work around here. Doing it is the problem. Last night, someone stole all the fuel from my cart. Again. Filthy thieves. Who's going to teach them? But what can you do? Why would they steal your fuel? There are only two or three engines left around here. Three, I'd say. Only they didn't use it for the engines. There hasn't been a drop of decent gas around here in ages. That's why I took it upon myself to convert the cart to work from good alcohol. Now I can see I made a mistake. But what can you do? Where do you get the alcohol these days anyway? I thought you and Slug were in a fight. Did you forget old quarrels? That low-quality liquor that Slug serves in his bar is only suitable for the shipmen. For a state-of-the-art motor like mine, it's poison. I'm waiting for the caravan to buy pure alcohol and get back to work. In fact, if I didn't grow used to this land, I would give up everything and leave with the caravan. This place is diseased. But what can you do? Thank you, friend. See you soon. Yes, soon. The world is too cramped nowadays. But what can you do? Hey there. Hey yourself. What's with the attitude? What's with all the sweet talk? Did you see a dog run by? No, I'm blind. Did your eye sensors burn out again? I see fine. Did your irony sensors burn out again? Oh, sorry. Forgot you never had any. Nice talking to you, kitty. Good luck finding spare parts next time. Think we started on a wrong foot. Easy for me. I have four of them. <laughs> oh, come on. You are just so cruel. <laughs> you are impossible. Impossibly cute. Impossibly annoying. <laughs> I'm not buying it. Like I'm selling anything. Always a pleasure talking to you. Move it, please. Oh, sure. I am so sorry for being in your way. I am just doing a useless job protecting my master's home from travelers like you. You're not going to let me pass through, are you? Nope. I need to go through, cat. Go around. The other way's blocked. I am so terribly sorry. Maybe next time you shouldn't leave. <laughs> <laughs>
then you won't have to return. I would like to speak to your master. I would like to speak to your mama. How is that relevant? You'll see. Old ladies love me. How's work going? Oh, that same work. It just goes on day after day. But what can you do? The cat won't let me go over the bridge. Yep, he is like that. When his master is a sleeper away, he will do anything to protect the past. Don't mess with him. It can be dangerous, you know. Any ideas on how to move him? There was a recall on his model. I've read that all Nico cats were supposed to get reprogrammed and shipped back to the factory. People can get quite irresponsible with their pets. But what can you do? How would you ship something like that? I don't know. I never owned one of those. I prefer things that are more natural. Here, you can look through these flies I've collected. I usually mind my own business, but what can you do? This creature is getting dangerous to live near. A recall? It's a rather sad story. Whoever programmed this cat made a mistake in the first rules of robotics. This cat understands a robot may not injure a human being as a robot may not ignore a human being. This model almost bankrupt the factory. Is there any other way into the city? Of course there is, through the square. That way is blocked. Sometimes this universe just loves to play tricks. But what can you do? Thank you, friend. See you soon. Yes, soon. The world is too cramped nowadays. But what can you do? something inside the envelope. This device seems familiar. I wonder where I've heard of it. This looks right. Hey there. Hey yourself. Did I go through? Are you a revolutionary? Are you planning to start a revolution and overthrow the government?
What? No way. Go away, then. This way is for free souls only. You know that girl, Pam? She's seeking supporters for the revolution. Supporters? I will support the revolution. If the group shares my ideas, then I am ready for anything. What are your ideas for the revolution? Well, first of all, the revolution needs principled people. What kind of soldiers want to be involved? Loyal to the revolution, shipmen and pilots with weapons. Ah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Armed and loyal soldiers will destroy the barriers and clear the way for a new order. Yeah, sure they will. As if carrying a shiny gun means they know how to shoot. I am so excited. What's next? What's this group of brave souls? Uh, how do they call themselves? Drake. What will the Drake do after it destroys the regime? Drake wants to jumpstart the industry and renovate the factories. How genius is that? And whose support do they get? Workers. How amazing! Workers have always been my favorite class. Men that work with their bare hands must know what's right for everyone. I sure hope they do. Uh, oh, but we'll be at power after all. The anarchy won't last forever. Unfortunately. The left leader must take the power. The right leader will return the dictatorship, and this is exactly what Drake is fighting against. No, no! I will. I will make a perfect leader for Drake. Fighting alongside other soldiers, I'll prove myself as a fearless fighter and persuade the workers to fight for our cause. I'll expand the revolution. I'll lead the world! <laughs> Everyone just wants to be a leader. No one thinks of the responsibilities that leadership holds. I hope the Drake party chooses a sensible candidate. Your left, yar. Go. What 
in the world is going on? I can explain. Hey, Ren. Is this a, your new horsey? No, Robbie is a space shuttle. Where is Grandpa? He's still not here? Sim, did you open the gates for Stefan? <laughs> I opened the gates for Grandpa! Don't be silly. You couldn't do it on your own. Robbie helped. Oh, no. You did what? Since Stefan isn't here, we better go meet him halfway. I'm ready. This is it. I've lost my access to Caviadome security. I have to rewire the whole system. You are so grounded, young lady. Geneva is right. You better stay home. No, no, I can explain. Robbie, you'll have to watch Rennie while we search for Stefan. No. You are right, Robbie. She isn't to your responsibility. Could you do us one small favor and escort Rennie to her room? Right. No fair. I will tell Grandpa. Please. Can I be grounded some other time? Thank you, Robbie. Rennie, be good. Oh, no, no, not, not again. again.